for tuning in, thanks for watching. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Claire Carmichael, I'm a second year adult student nurse and recently I've been taking part in the 30 day blogger challenge. It's been amazing, I'll put the links below just in case you don't know what it is and you're watching my channel and you don't know that I blog as well as do vlogs. So I'll put all the links below, check it out. So today is day nine of the bloggers challenge and it's all about what's in my bag. I have two bags, actually I have, a, I have a lot of bags. I have a lot of backpacks because I absolutely love backpacks. So the two main backpacks that I use currently are this one for uni. This is, some of you might have seen this already. This is my Peter Pan slash Peter Rabbit bag. And I use that for uni. I'm 34 and I've got Peter Pan and Peter Rabbit. <laughs> Please tell me that's okay. That's okay, right? This is my work bag. So this is much bigger. This is a massive, it's like a proper traveling backpack, really. But I take this to work because I have to put all of my uniform in it. It's also my placement bag, placement and my work bag. So let's start with the uni bag. Okay. This is really embarrassing because I promise I haven't even looked in this bag um, before I've done this video and I've got, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a Monica cupboard. If any of you watch as Friends, you will know what a Monica cupboard is. If you don't watch Friends and you don't know what a Monica cupboard is, Monica is like OCD clean, okay? And then inside this cupboard is just a mess and someone, I can't remember who does it, is it Ross? Rachel? Joey? I'm gonna go through all the names. Anyway, one of them opens the cupboard and just all this junk comes falling out of the cupboard and Monica's like, no, I've been exposed. It's amazing. Anyway, this is my Monica cupboard. Um, there's everything, look, it's just, it's a bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean it out whilst I'm talking to you. So, I have three compartments. The back one is like a laptop bit where you would put your laptop, but I've got all my notes at the minute to keep my notes flat. Main big compartment, I have one plastic bag. One bag of Skittles, which isn't really a full bag. It's got about, I think it's about eight Skittles. My notepad. I have my diary, the pretty much everything goes in my diary. This amazing book, this book's so useful. It's a bit tatty now. Um, but this is a great book, it's tiny, it's um, the Drug Survival Guide and it goes through all the categories of drugs, the mechanisms, contraindications, really really good pocket book, I think it was like 5 99 or 6 99 A little bag of sugar, which I need to fill it with some tea bags as well, I take tea and sugar to uni just to save me some money and I just get the hot water in the flask. Ibuprofen. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I've got an empty crisp packet with rubbish in it. I've got empty orange peel, which is probably gonna go mouldy. Oh, this is terrible. Why did I do this vlog? I have my selfie stick, <laughs> of course. But I think I've only used this once at uni and that was to do the open day vlogs. Um, I, oh God, an empty wrapper. What is wrong with me? I told you, this is my Monica bag. I have a lip balm, I have a spray because it's really, really hot lately and it's sweaty and it's nasty, so it's always good. I have these pens at the minute. My the typical student nurse pen is this one because it's got all the colours for you to mark on your hand over, it's brilliant. A couple of colourful pens because I like colour. I have a bobble, thank you. I have a broken plastic fork, that's a plastic fork, look how good it looks, but it's actually plastic. I have more rubbish, more rubbish, more rubbish. I'm so ashamed, I'm sorry. Tea stirring sticks, Bongella, compact mirror, headphones, and a second bubble. And a lot of crumbs and rubbish at the bottom of the bag. So in the front of my bag, little pocket, I have my uni ID and rubbish, pretty much. This is all rubbish. My train tickets, um, paper, I've got, oh God. I've got old McDonald tokens, I've got tissue, another bubble. Apparently, I just have a collection of bubbles in my bag. Oh, medications leaflet, oh, amazing. It's, yeah, I collect medication leaflets. I've got a folder with all the medication leaflets from my placements. Um, it's, that comes in really handy because you're not going to get the best information anywhere else than an information leaflet from the actual drug, are you? Let's face it. And what is this one? 
This one is Nabido. So it's a testosterone injection. On my last placement, we had a couple of patients that um, had to have testosterone therapy. So that's from that one. Now, what's in my white bag? Pretty much, I change between things. So whatever's in that bag, I usually put in this bag and vice versa, but not everything, does that make sense? So pens I'll take from there. If my um, diary, my purse, they'll sort of alternate. So what is in my placement bag? More rubbish. Receipts upon receipts. Train tickets. Plasters, because you never know when you need a plaster. I have my work ID. I have my stamp. That's why I love sexual health, because I get to stamp things with my name. I'm there like stamping the test requests with my name. <laughs> love stamping things. Hand cream, because you definitely need a hand cream um, out on placements, out at work, because your hands get so dry. I have a tourniquet, because in sexual health, I am trained to take venipuncture bloods. So that's really handy. And it's got my name on, because if you don't have your name on your tourniquet, it gets nicked. This, in sexual health, is like a pen. And you all know what happens to pens on the wards. They get nicked. <laughs> perfume because again it's sweaty it's hot it's disgusting out there more plasters like how many plasters do i think i need a tampon you never know another pen what's in my middle pocket a knife and fork clearly i like to carry knife and forks with me i have a little bottle of double strength squash i have oh i have a little padlock there's lockers that we can use at work so that's for the lockers and then the front bag more tissue another tampon you can't have enough tampons these days. Ooh, like a really soggy mess of sweets. Apparently another plaster. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, that's disgusting. That's like an old apple core that's just, oh. I'm so sorry you've had to witness that. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. And I'm back. Clean hands. I'm going to clean out my bag now. I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> looking at what's in my bag. And I'm so sorry. I feel so ashamed. But I promise you, after this video, I'm going to clean them out. They're going to be sparkling and beautiful. And they're never going to get in that mess again. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm.